Hi everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games on YouTube. I hope everyone there has had a great weekend. I've not done a video in about probably three weeks or something like this. Um, the last one that I did was an update, so sorry for the, the delay. It's been a super, super, super busy past few weeks. And I'm going to do a separate video, hopefully later today, just to talk a little bit about what I've been doing and give you some more tips and updates on things like Chart Boost and TapJoy and so on. But this video right now is something I just wanted to do quickly because I, I think I've seen a comment from, um, uh, I think it was Daniel on one of my other videos. And it's something which, uh, uh, this thing that I'm going to show you caused me a lot of headache when I first started to do Android development with Unity. So I'm hoping this will help everyone out and make things a lot, lot smoother because it really caned my brain for like a whole day or so trying to figure this out. Basically, when you submit a game to the Google Play Market specifically, you have to sign that game with um, uh, some kind of electronic certificate, and I think it's called a key store file or something like this. Now, I'm not 100% sure how these work or exactly uh, what they're supposed to do, but I, I'm just going to show you what works for me and how I managed to get it implemented and how I managed to basically get the game approved and it, it's uploaded to the Google Play Market. So the first thing is this is a this is a new game that I'm working on here. So I'm okay to reset the the key store uh, file and it, it won't affect anything. Uh, whilst I'm on that subject, just so you know, if you are publishing games onto Google Play, make sure you always use the same key store file. Don't change it because Google Play will say, "Hey, this is, you're using a different um, license file or something like this." So make sure you always use the same one. All right. So first thing is I'm in Unity here. Uh, I'm assuming that you have a, an Android license in Unity so you can build Android games. What you want to do is go to File, Build Settings, and then click Player Settings, and that will open up this part here in the inspector. I'm just going to go down to this Publish tab here, Publish Settings tab at the bottom, and I've already set up a, a key store uh, password here and key and everything and, and the, uh, the, uh, the Android market license and so on, but I'll go through it again. So what you want to do is click on Create New Key Store. Now I'm using Unity 3.5.7. Unity 4.1 uses it. Might the layout might be a little bit different because I've not actually seen that, but uh, give it a try anyway. Hopefully this is the same kind of flow. So Create New Key Store, then click on Browse Key Store, and when it says Browse, basically you're just making one. You're not actually browsing for anything. So I'm just going to go back into my 2D platformer file. Um, I think, where did I put this now? Okay, so you can see here, I already created one. So I'm just gonna give it, I'm just gonna click on it so it gives it the same name. So you could just write in your own name here. It could be like my great game or my 3D game, whatever it is. Click on save. I'm gonna replace it, that's fine. And I need to give this a password. So I'm just gonna give it a password now. Actually, sorry, I've got to use uh, uh, the passwords are case sensitive. So whatever you do, choose. Make sure that you've got your um, the way that you do passwords. Like if you're using uh, capitals or, or non-capitals, like uppercase and lowercase, just make sure that's the same each time. So enter the two passwords here. This is just you're just setting the password. Basically, call it whatever you want. Um, and then we want to click on create new key and uh, the alias is I'm just going to call this 2D platformer and then confirm the same password as before as we just had down here and it's a little bit early I need to wake up so my typing is not too Ugh, good at the moment I think I tapped that right Sometimes my hands just don't work. All right, so that's all I need to enter. And then I'm going to click on Create Key. And this should be OK in a second. All right, so now under Key here, we've just created one. We go down, and there it is, 2D Platformer. And then the password, I think on your side, it will be blank as well. And so I'm just going to enter the password again, the same one as I just did up here on these two. Okay, so those that's the key store password setup. 
The last thing that you need uh, in order to do in-app purchases in, and in order to submit the game to the market, I believe as well, is you need to change this public key down here. So right now this is uh, this is just a temporary one. This isn't the one that I'm actually using for this game because it's not been submitted to any market or anything. Uh, but if you do go to your Google Play account, so if you go, uh, for those of you who are maybe new to Google Play, if you go to developer.android.com and then distribute, and then under distribute, it should say, go to develop a console here, click on this, and then it'll open this page here. And I'm just gonna give an example. Our, if I go down to, um, let me think. <laughs> I think if I just go to one of these, all right, I'll click on Chick's Revenge, and then go down to your, services and APIs down here. Uh, what this will do is it will actually, I can't show you the code here guys, but what it will show you is that big, a big code at the bottom and it's like something like a hundred characters long or something like this. All you need to do is just copy that and then paste it in down here. So you basically just delete all this out. Uh, you can click on Command and A or Control and A on a PC and then just click delete and it will delete all that out and then Control and V or Command and V to paste that, that new code back in. And then what you'll be able to do guys is basically after that go to File, Build Settings, then click on Build and then you can uh, actually build the APK that you can then upload to the Google Play Market. So I won't do that process here because I've not sort of got it set up, I've not got it set up for this video. Uh, the from what I know so far, this this uh, uh, having the, the the key store password and so on in place, I think it might only be relevant for Google Play at the moment to have this part here, this Android Market LVL uh, license uh, file, whatever the LVL stands for. I think that's just Google Play. For other markets, say like the Amazon App Store or the the SlideMe or MobandGo.com, you don't need to have this public key here. That is just for Google Play. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to do another one later, but I wanted to get this quick one out because I'd seen this uh, comment from Daniel, and hopefully this video helps out uh, the problem that you're mentioning, Daniel. Uh, but this had given me a huge headache back when I started to do Android Unity development, and it, man, it just drove me crazy for hours. So hopefully this will solve a, a lot of problems and, and save you guys some time as well. Anyway, but for now I'm going to do another video later and I'm going to get more coffee, I'm going to wake up. Everyone have a great day and I will speak to you very soon. Bye-bye. Oh, one quick thing before I exit this video, I just remembered I wanted to quickly show you this new game that I'm working on here. This was, this was in the background and I forgot to mention it whilst I was doing the first part of this video. Uh, this is a new game that I'm working on now which is uh, like a 2D platformer, uh, 2D platformer or side-scrolling platformer is something that uh, you might think of when you look at Mario, for example, Super Mario Brothers, so bouncing around on platforms. And uh, this is not gonna be very smooth because I uh, because of the recording software. But I wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse and see if you've got any ideas or if you've got any questions as I'm going along and making this. Uh, I did do a developer diary videos uh, uh, roughly eight months ago on, on a couple of games and I might do some more the developer diary videos if you found them useful then please let me know and I'll try to do some more of these and the developer diary videos are just basically um, you know what I was doing whilst I was making the game and just talking and not really tutorial not explaining things so well but just showing you guys the development process as I go through things but this uh, this game sort of been intended to be like kinda similar to Super Meat Boy the levels are going to be really small and it's going to be, uh, you get from A to B as fast as you can whilst avoiding obstacles and, and dangers and so on and you're just this little character here who I might make into some kind of robot later. And uh, you can jump and you can attach yourself to walls like you see in here, you can double jump. Uh, you can actually jump off the ceiling as well like I'm doing right here, deciding whether to include that or not. And the game will be a multiple level game, so you'll basically have sort of level one, level two, level three, and uh, it's sort of a timed a timed game. So you can you've got to do things as fast as possible in order to get like three stars or whatever, jumping off walls and so on. It it feels really good uh, to play, and and what I'm doing right now is I've just done this over the past uh, 
roughly two days I've played around with this and so far it's feeling pretty good and the, the first process that I'm going through is just testing the controls on a mobile and uh, trying to make it feel good, make it feel right. Because I think if the user has a good sense of control, they feel like they're controlling this character, it feels fluent, it feels like it's reacting well to the input, then from there we've got a really good foundation to start building on and start adding the levels and, and uh, creating some challenge in the game as well. So if anybody is interested, I can I can start to do some developer diary videos for this one perhaps, maybe uh, you know, once every few days I can just sort of update people and, and talk about it. But if you've got any ideas and uh, things that you would maybe suggest in the game, then, then it would be great to hear. One of the inspirations is a, a game called Super Meat Boy, which is on Xbox and PC, I think. And that's a really, really cool game, and it's sort of a very challenging 2D platformer. So, but anyway, wanted to show you guys quickly, just before I close the video, for now I'm going to continue on this, do some more work, and I'll speak to everyone soon. Okay, bye-bye.